Okay, I forgot that uh, I've forgotten that I want to film this, so I actually took out the wrapper already. It's only the wrapper that has Mickey Mouse. So we're gonna try this is um it's supposed to say Carbonara Carbonara Fettuccini. I do not know how to read Japanese, I got it from Google Translate, okay? So after I take the plastic out this is what I see super ingenious I feel they have like steps to tell you and then it has like indicators A, B, you know C and then after that you probably just add the packets into the noodles itself so this is a kind of like a dry instant noodle pasta kind so it's not exactly the soupy kind and if you can hear things in the background that's the water hot water pot boiling and probably in the distance some radio which my dad has on okay so we're gonna do okay it says that a open to b i just open it just now a little bit before i pull out my camera so yeah um it's super ingenious you can see the grooves over here so when you open it, you probably won't go too far either. It will just stop. Yeah, it will just stop there. So I have to take out the packet. It has the pasta sauce. And then it has this um, topping. Okay. So now I have to put in hot water until the inside line so that's the line that's the dried up fettuccine you can see it let's see you can see it oh, wow okay so let's wait for the hot water to boil and put some hot water in okay the hot water is already boiled let's put in some hot water to the inside line. Well, that's a lot of water. Okay. And then it says sits for five minutes. So let's store. And you see this? Yep, I have made it for five minutes. We'll come back later. Okay, in order for not uh, for the flaps not to come up, I usually will place a metal plate that is about the same diameter as the bowl. And I just leave my timer there. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, the timer has gone off. So let's stop this first. Okay, let's take this up. And it says that after five minutes, I have to pour it from here. So I'll go pour the hot water. Before that, I could show you how it opens up. Awesome. So that's the vent. This is way too cool. Okay. Let me go pour the hot water. I'll be right back. That's my sink. Okay, this is way too cool. Woo! Okay, the steam is coming out. It's so hot. Wow. It does drain properly. Okay. So now that it's drained, okay. we have to pour the water out and then we add the condiments in so I can just open it up. Oh wow! Oh my god! Such a waste, the vent is so good. But Japanese! 
they are very good with everything. Okay, so I'm supposed to add in the pasta sauce. Okay, let's cut this. Let's see what's look inside. Whoa. Let me smell, let me smell this. Okay, that smells like carbonara. meat in there. Okay, I need to get something to, s to get it all out. Okay, and the chopstick. Not much left, I guess. Let me see. Ooh, salt already. Can you see it's all dirty? Okay. And then the topping, right? Oh, this doesn't need any. Oh, it's black pepper? I think it's black pepper. Oh, it smells like black pepper. Can you guys see that? Yep, that's black pepper, all right. I think I should mix the stuff first before I add the black pepper in. Or oh, should I put in the black pepper first? Okay, the picture says looks like with the black pepper. So let's put in the black pepper. Now we have to mix, I guess. is all over. Not waste any single bit. It looks a little blend. Not exactly like the picture though. It's all mixed up already, the sauce. And I'm gonna let to try it. So I'm not gonna try it now. Okay, so I'm gonna try this right now. Sorry for like my whole um I'm, I'm just back from work, so I'm gonna try this. The carbonara from Disneyland. Really not from Disneyland, but from someplace near Disneyland. I'm not gonna tell you where though. Not bad actually. It does taste like carbonara. With the pepper, it's it's not spicy. It's not too like peppery, but the spice does bring out the creams, the cream or whatever the sauce that is, the carbonara. So yeah, here is the fettuccine, guys. Um. The pasta itself isn't too bad. Uh, it's not like too soggy or anything, which is which is amazing. I mean, usually when you buy things that are pasta that I've tried in US that are really really soggy after a while. So, I mean, after I put in the water and everything, and it doesn't taste good. This is really good. This is really good. It is really close to it's really close to al dente so 
I'm amazed. I'm really amazed. Okay, so here concludes me trying out this Mickey and Minnie Carbonara Fettuccine from Tokyo Disneyland. Um, where did I get it? I actually got this from Disney Ambassador Hotel. It's in the convenience store. Um, but I've just noticed that they have this this word here. Jing Xian Ding. I do know Xian Ding is like uh, limited or restricted to the area. But I don't know if it's just limited to the place or it's um, a limited period only. You can just try to find it in Ambassador Hotel in Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland and then let me know. I mean, if you do find it there probably in if in January or, or December, then uh, probably that means uh, in that store or in that store only. Uh, or for any Japanese friends or Japanese people who understand that what that means, you probably can tell me and yeah. Then that would, that would solve everyone's problem. I'm gonna continue enjoying this dinner and I'll see you soon. Bye!